the weather's not stopping Gail and her duck Max. Brought him all the way over here in a snowstorm because I feel so bad for him. Max's feathers have been more than ruffled. I'm not really sure what happened. When we went out to feed them, we noticed her wing was hanging and there was a little bit of butt on her feathers. Her wing was real loose. You have a duck? I do. Come on in. You're a big duck. <laughs> Don't be so scared, it's just me. I think this wing is broke. Yes. No, you don't. Somebody got a hold of her. Checking him out. Yes, she has a broken wing. See, I yeah. found a little bit of blood on her yeah. feathers, yeah. but I could not find a wound. No, but it's right here. Hold her like that. <laughs> it's OK, Max. It's OK, girl. These bird bones are hollow, and they don't heal up as good. Lucky for this duck, Doc has a tried and true method to mend her wing. OK, this is what you do. Just like when you have a broken wrist, you tape yourself up. This is this here is where the injury is. Man, her feathers look rough. <laughs> yeah. You just tape it up around his body and let it set until it heals. That should be like that for three weeks. For three weeks? Yeah, Hold let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. He wants okay. to come back in. Now, her butt hangs down pretty low to the ground. And Sometimes it drags. Well, that's because she's a little fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if that comes off within three weeks, duct tape. Duct tape? Just like I did. If for some reason or other this tape does come off, then you can use duct tape to duct tape your tuck. OK. All right. Good deal. <laughs> this is the only vet I can find that will take care of my animals, and he's very good with them. Dr. Paul fixed them all up so we can take her back home. And I'm very happy. See you guys. Drive careful. <laughs>